Oh my God, oh my God. Welcome back to another video with Carl's Garage. It has been four weeks since I've uploaded a video. So I'm going to make it a priority of mine to put something out, whether or not it's a short or a video, at least three times a week, at the very least. I wanna say every day, but it's just impossible with everything going on with my other business. But as you can see on the screen, let's jump right into it. I never thought I'd be saying this. Never thought, I don't even know if Babe knows, but I've been watching this for a while to kind of see what issues, how I wanted to see how Toyota was going to handle this situation. So far from watching a lot of guys, a lot of YouTubers who cover Toyota, a lot, in fact, there's one guy, there's one YouTuber who covers only Toyota. I forgot his name, but he just recently bought a 2024, 2025 Tundra with this motor, this twin turbo V6 that is known to fail because it came off the assembly line with a lot of issues and we're gonna get into it. The reason why he bought it is because of how well Toyota is doing and how well Toyota is handling the issue related to the recalls. They're not denying you. They're taking full responsibility for what they did. So if you don't know right now, in all the trucks, well, not all the trucks, but a lot of it, because they make four cylinder trucks now, but a lot of Toyota trucks, and I'll name all the cars. So Toyota recalls certain, certain 2022 to 2023 Toyota Tundras and Lexus LX models with that twin turbo V6, which I've known has always been an issue. I've, I hate, like if I'm gonna have a truck, it's gotta be a V8 because you want simplicity, right? A turbo, especially two of them, on a smaller engine back in the day it's okay it could it could be okay because the engine was was not as complicated as it is now because now everybody's trying to meet two things emissions and fuel efficiency so when you start to everything has a cause every cause has a reaction every you know every action has a reaction so once you start to keep making the motor efficient but then you try to add power, you're gonna lose something. That's the reason why Porsche is a great company. They, a lot of their cars, like their 911s and stuff like that, is just a high output v V6. A lot of them, like a lot of Porsche cars, they just, look, we're gonna stay away from turbos. Not that they don't have, uh, you know, the you know the Porsche Turbo S, they have turbo versions. A lot of those are on their V8s though, uh, because that displacement can handle those, those turbos. So I've always been for, you know, uh, uh, either a naturally aspirated V6, just go to a V8. And if you're gonna turbo anything, I would, I would either turbo a four cylinder or a, or forced induction, the V8, either one, but not the six. For some reason, I can't think of any, I mean, I guess the Grand National, and that was a single turbo back in the day with GM. And even those had a lot of issues back then, right? You don't really see like the longevity, I guess the 3000 GT uh, and then the Toyota Supra. But again, that's Toyota, right? And that was a that was an inline six. Cause look at all the issues with the turbos on the, on the BMW engines. Now the B58 engine is a tried and true engine. Uh, yes, it is a tried and true engine. You're gonna get more, but again, that's an inline. We're not talking V, we're talking inline. So I can't think of too many legendaries, but guys, if you guys can think of any legendary, outside of the Grand National, legendary twin turbo V6 engines out there, please leave them down in the comments below and let me know. Out, you know, I, I think, I wanna say maybe Porsche has one, maybe Mercedes has some now. Yeah, you get a twin turbo. Is it in line though? I think the Mercedes might be in line or is it V6? I don't know. You guys leave in the comments down below. But again, I, you know, I'm not thinking, like when I think of legendary, I think of a motor that you can take out and swap into something else. So like the, K, the Honda K motors, the LS's, the 5.0 Mustangs. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else they put. I know that they V6, a lot of those Audi Volkswagen engines. I'm trying to think of a lot of other motors that you that a lot of people use because they're tried. Oh, obviously the, the 2JZ, the RB motor. Uh, but yeah, so back to this. So that's what they recall includes these vehicles. So if you have one, I hope that you're paying attention because chances are if you have a V6 twin turbo Toyota, you probably, will run into some type of issue. So let's just go ahead and read the article. I'm not gonna make this video too much longer. This is on the official Press Room Toyota website. This was done May 30, because this is a very new issue. So again, I wanted to kind of see the landscape of things, see how big this was gonna go. Because I remember back in May hearing about it. 
But then a lot of guys are like, that's not gonna stop me from buying a Toyota. That's not gonna stop me from buying a Toyota. And then when I seen the big YouTuber buy one, knowing the issue exists, I was like, oh, okay. There, there, there must be a reason why. So here we go. Update includes remedy um, and revised statement as of 11.30 a.m. Central Time, July 25th. So they updated it since the uh, release of this article. Includes reference to Lexus dealers providing support for uh, LX vehicles. And the LX is the, um, is that the, no, the TX is the new, is the new one. So here we go, Plano, Texas, right out here by me. I'm in Houston. Toyota's uh, conducting a safety recall involving certain models, 2022, 2023, Tundra, Lexus, LX, conventional gas uh, model only. Vehicles in North America, approximately 102,000 Toyota and Lexus branded vehicles vehicles are involved in this recall in the U.S. There are possibly the certain, there is a possibility that certain machining debris, same thing that happened with Kia, same thing that happened with Kia, they're not, you know, they're, they're pumping out these engines and what's happening is, <clears throat> um, what's happening is the, not safety, quality control, the quality control department is dropping the ball because they're they're having to do all these new extra things with efficiency and all this other stuff and they're dropping the ball and that's exactly what happened so there's a possibility that certain machine debris may not have been clear from the engine when it was produced uh, in the involved vehicles this can lead to potential engine knocking engine rough running uh, engine no star or loss of uh, motive power a loss of motor power while driving at higher speeds can increase the risk of a crash for all all involved vehicles, Toyota and uh, Lexus dealers will replace the engine with a new one at no cost to customers. So there's no, this is the reason why I really wanted to make this clear, make this video. Let me finish the article, then I'll tell you my point and I'll close out the video. Customers will be notified about this uh, issue by late July, 2024. So I'm in August, this issue happened way earlier this year. It just kept happening, kept happening, kept happening, kept happening and then Toyota was like, you know what? Just bring your car in. We're going to give you a new engine. We know ex we, they pinpointed exactly what happened. Information about the automotive recall include, but not limited to the list of involved vehicles is current as of today's filing date and is subject to change thereafter, which means chances are all the twin turbo V6s that they released within this time have that same issue. Uh, to see if your vehicle is involved in a safety recall, visit the Toyota recall, this, this, this. You can type in your VIN number. Chances are it might not pop up. I advise you to just call your dealer. For any additional questions, Toyota customer support is also available by calling the Toyota brand um, engagement center da, 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 for Toyota vehicles customer support call on Alexis brand engagement center and you also have some media contacts and stuff like that so to kind of finish up this video there this part right here for all involved vehicles Toyota and Lexus dealers will replace the engine with a new one at no cost to customers they, they're not gonna let this get to a lawsuit right they have Kia engine cinema.com because they allowed this issue for 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then they got rid of the Theta 2 engine and now they have the new piston ring recall because they have the same issues with their new engines. And then they also have the issues with their EV cars. Toyota caught this and said, we're not even gonna let this get to a class action lawsuit. We stand by our brand. We fix the issue, bring in your car, and we will replace the engine, no matter what, no questions asked. You don't need a KSDS update to put your car into freaking limp mode so that you can make it to the dealer and then they're gonna perform an oil test and if it's not that, then they'll send you home. None of that bullshit that Kia and Hyundai and Genesis have been doing to people for over a decade. Yes, that's 2010, so yeah. So, yeah, for over a decade, because we're in 2024 right now. So that's why I really, you know, even though Toyota has a recall on just one small section of their, it's not their whole lineup, right? Because they put the same Theta 2 engine in essentially their entire lineup for Kia from 2010 through 2019, 2020, and then also their entire lineup for the Hyundai. So outside of the V6, that Theta 2 engine was in all of those cars. This one is only pertaining to the twin turbo V6. It's not the four cylinder or the not naturally aspirated V6 that's in the Camry and stuff like that, or in the Venza or in the RAV4. No, those engines are tried and true. They will do 300,000 miles, or even the V6 that I have on my Lexus. That thing's gonna do, I just we just hit 109,000 miles. That thing's gonna do 300,000 miles easy all day. 
that's not this issue. This is very specific and it's very new because there's a new technology and they took, they ended the V8s. They don't put V8s in trucks anymore. No, the, even the new Land Rover is not a V8. It's a twin turbo V6. So chances are it, it might not have the same issue because they might be putting the new engine in that vehicle. But my point is that they're handling it right. They're not, one, they're not letting it get to a lawsuit. Two, they're not, they're not trying to screw you over by requiring you to have some stupid software on your car before you get a new engine. No, for all involved vehicles, Toyota and Lexus dealers will replace the engine with a new one at no cost. Also, it's a new engine. It's not a used engine from another car that crashed or that they got out of a junkyard because they decided to not make the Theta 2 engine anymore, which is exactly what happened with Kia. They're not making the Theta 2 engine anymore. So the one that they put in your car will fail again. And I have videos talking to people who have gone through two or three Hyundai engines, that Theta 2 engine. So that's how you handle a recall like Toyota. That's the reason why they're the number one brand in the world their vehicles hold their value and they have legendary engines from their four cylinders all the way up to their V8s. Obviously not this twin turbo V6, but they do have the 2JZ, which was a single turbo and a twin turbo inline six, which is what they probably should go back to and revise the 2JZ for the modern world. For whatever reason, they got rid of that. They retired that motor. I think that they should bring it back and replace that with all of these um, cars because even the naturally aspirated 2JZ is legendary. My mechanic has one in his uh, Lexus IS 300. He has a Lexus IS 300, which is worth a lot of money. And because it, it's the 2JZ engine is just naturally aspirated. That thing's gonna, you know, he can do a million miles on that thing. He's one, he's a mechanic and two, he babies it. So that thing's gonna last him forever. So that's the difference, okay? So if you, get, if you guys got any issues with your Kia Hyundai, remember you can always get the Carl's Garage Kia Hyundai, uh, Kia Hyundai Handbook, a guide to help you getting your engine replaced, and that's what I do. I'm glad I was able to get this content out, and I will try to do more to help a lot of people. I got people hitting me up, at like a bunch of messages on Instagram that I never even look at, people hitting me up. So I'm gonna do as much as I can to keep helping people out there. Thank you guys for everyone out there who keeps buying the book. I'm still helping you out. Just because you haven't seen me on the channel or haven't seen me post anything about Carl's Garage or straight out of the content, doesn't mean that I'm not helping people out. So, but again, now I'm helping Toyota because, you know, it's my number one brand. I love it to death and they've got an issue, but they're handling it. We will not see a class action lawsuit related to Toyota because they're not going to allow it to get to that because they're all about quality. So if you're ever look, if you're looking for a car, I've had a couple of people ask me, ask me what type of car to get. I will always tell you to buy Toyota brand or Lexus if you need to be fancy. That's or Honda or Honda. Yeah, if, especially if like, if you need a car for A to B and you need to just get from A to B, take the little bit of extra money, even if you gotta get a used or old one, Honda, Toyota. All right, I gotta go, peace.